welcome to this week's uh, edition of Skip Scoop. It's been a busy week since the last time we've been on here, Bucky. We've had five games in six days. Yeah. Five games in six days. A lot of baseball. A lot of baseball. We've had some guests in town. We did. It was it was it was an awesome week. We had uh, we first started off midweek with our stuff in in Fullerton, California. And speaking of California, a very good friend of mine from California came over. Don Diamant this uh, this weekend. We had Don Diamant almost ladies' night on Saturday night, and uh, it was it was great to have him in town. Yeah, sure. Why are you acting so weird about it? No, no reason. So anyway, I, I again, my good buddy Don came out throughout the first pitch and hung around the office a little bit and um, just really enjoyed the time around ASU baseball. So what is wrong with you? He's not, like, coming back, is he? Like that was just a one-time thing? I, I don't know. If he could ever fit in the schedule, I'd love to have him back. Well, he has a pretty busy schedule, so I bet he can't make it. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. All All right. Right. So I'm, I'm just happy. glad you're my boss. Let's just say that. Well, I'm glad I'm your superior. I, what the heck is going on? <laughs> nothing. No, nothing. All good. All right. Well, hey, take a look at some of the sights and sounds from this weekend. It was a thrilling, a lot of baseball, extra inning games, walk-off wins, all that good stuff. But uh, And hopefully there's some Don Diamant footage on there throwing out the first pitch, too. So, enjoy. Woo! Two Logan women working in the same building. I'm very lucky to have you. Could get too close. I want us to share everything. I want us to be closer. For comfort. We can't do this. We are doing it. We can't stop it. The Bold and the Beautiful, CBS Weekdays. Mm, full muscle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah! Pull that. That'll be like... Full muscle, full muscle, I think, you know, it just might mistake me. I think I put on some pants. I just might be able to get out there. Yeah. Just might be able to do a little, little DHing. I don't. A little, uh, DH, a little DH. I don't know if you'd have the eligibility left or not. Oh no, but I, I did. Actually, but I did. See I, I have four years. Your clock started about 45 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a separate issue. Who <laughs> says it's a wild? Who says it's a strike? Promise. A ball or a wild? Okay. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't understand who he's dealing with. Can't get in my head. Again, there's nothing there, so you can't get in. Wait, look. Little mini, little mini. Oh, little mini me. Little mini. Look at that. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, Phil. Can I roll it? Oh, <laughs> Uh, I got my boy here. He was warming me up. I was throwing it's looking some, good. Throwing a little heat. It's right? looking good. It's looking good. He's confident in me. Now, can I do it when I have one pitch out there? Yes, I can. It's going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Guys, go get him, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. All coming in? There we go. Who's the other one for? Uh, my mom. Do you, do you mess up sometimes? Sometimes? Is sure. it kind of embarrassing? No, not really. And I was taking notes from you actually with the, with the first oh, pitch. The first that was pitch. Tracy, Coach Smith, we just get talking, talking a lot of smack. I'm sure, yeah. I was going to put it in the dirt. I was going to either be high and high inside. I was going to be in the dirt. I said you were going to bounce it, then bounce it, and put it in my place. And okay, I don't coach, say that very often. Coach, <laughs> you're going to feel better. After I just made you feel look like a fool. Go get a win tonight so you feel better. Very good. Very good. Thanks. That was good. You did good. I'm just glad you're my boss. Let's just say that. Well, I'm glad I'm your superior. I, what the heck is going on? Nothing. No, nothing. All good. All right.
Send Bucky in here. Yes, Bucky. Tom? How many conversations have we had oh, no. about my water being room temperature? Why don't yeah. you touch this, Bucky? Is that room temperature, Bucky, or is that cold? That's cold. What is it? It's cold. Is it cold? Yeah. It's cold, isn't it? How cold is it? It's very cold. Like refrigerator cold? Yes. Freezer cold. It's freaking cold. Oh, no. Bucky, do, do you see this? You see, you see this little smudge here on my shoe? Yeah, I see that. Do I like smudges on my no, shoe? No. Or do I like my shoes to be pristine? Do I want your spit on my freaking shoe, Bucky? No, probably not. No. No. I like solvent to be used on my shoes. Bucky, I like my water room temperature. I like my shoes clean. Do you like working here, Bucky? I do. Yeah, do you? I do. Do you want to keep working here, Bucky? I'd like to. Do you? Yeah. Then from this day forward, what will my water be? Room temperature. Room temperature. From this day forward, what will my shoes be? Solvent, for sure. Solvent. Clean. Yeah. Pri 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 Pristine. Pristine. Yeah, pristine. Pristine. Okay. Good. Now get the hell out of All my right. office, right. Bucky. Dumb. Dollar bill, Mr. Soapstar. I God. heard that, Bucky. How does he hear that? Clutch players are clutch players, and when Sir, I was hoping even Game Three would come around because Servin was clutch and walk off first night, walk off second night, and then I didn't care if it went extra innings on the third night because. It's clutch. Cause it is clutch. Do what it got. So yeah, we uh, you know had three walkoffs this weekend. I had two of them. Um, did I mean to do it? Not really. You know those things just kind of happen. Am I clutch? Maybe. I used to throw when I was younger, but just kind of throwing around and really got good at it or anything of you? No, neither have I. Yeah, check out my target. It's a nice target. Oh, who's throwing knives? So, Bucky, we got some questions of the week. People responded to your request to get those questions in. We have some good ones this week. You're, you're from Washington, right? I am. This yeah. comes from the home state of Washington, Jason from Centrin. Cent Centralia. Centralia, Washington. Skip, there's been a few extra inning games so far this year. How do you keep the boys rested for the tough Pac-12 schedule? Bucky, they're 20, they're 18 to 20-something year olds. Those guys don't get tired, so they're rested. Great question. Where is Centralia? Centralia. It's on the west side of the state, closer to Seattle. All right. Hey, guys. Tim, uh, this is Tim from Downers Grove, Illinois, class of 87. For all four years, lived in a fraternity on Alpha Drive, just south of Packard. Oh, where's this going? I remember on Sunday, students got in free and 25 cent hot dogs. Anyway, as a kid who was a coach's favorite player, as an adult, as a favorite and most respected manager. Um, you know, I got to go with our, our guy, uh, manager wise, Tony LaRusso. Tony oh, LaRusso has yeah. been awesome to us. He's been unbelievable. So I, I respect the heck out of him. I think he's phenomenal. It's been fun because we have a, a great partnership with the Arizona Diamondbacks. You see the little Diamondbacks, their new hats up here we display because we demonstrate the partnership that we have. A lot of ASU people. A lot of ASU people. Derek Hall is an ASU alum. Uh, they're all over Graham or Cena. Graham or Cena All the over best. Corey Hahn. It doesn't get any better Can we Corey. go on and on? Yeah. But uh, I, I would say Tony's that guy. As a favorite player, I was Ryan Sandberg because I was a Cubs guy. So, Tim, thank you for that question. And then uh, last question. This comes from Lynn from Kentland, Indiana. We know where Kentland is, hometown of 
Oh, really? Okay. So, Kentland, I don't didn't... know where Kentland is, though. You didn't know that? Come on, bud. <laughs> how, uh, how much do you think a Tracy Smith autographed baseball card would be worth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Priceless. <laughs> okay. Priceless. Here we go. So thank you for the questions of the week. Now on to the pictures, uh, pictures of the week. This first photo comes from one of my favorite people and uh, class former classmate of mine. This is Rock and Todd Reed and his wife Annette. Uh, looks like Todd is trying to make a statement to me that he has no Arizona State forks up gear, so he made his own. That seems so, to be a common theme from your friends back in Indiana. I know. You know what they can get on? Where, tell them where they can get online and order some stuff, <laughs> right? What is this? Oh, Big Smitty making an appearance here with a good friend, Pat Ryan. I think they're down in uh, Bradenton, Florida, sporting their. Uh, Sporting their, uh, we got a little pitchfork going Some on. Forks up. Some forks up. Big Smitty show again. A uh, former teammate of mine in the Cubs, or actually former assistant. Uh, my dad, Big Smitty, standing there with Dan Simons. And uh, both, what's my dad got the pinky ring on and Dan's got the wedding ring on? But <laughs> I think that also is down there in Bradenton, Florida. And I love this one. This is classic. Cousin of Chris Isbell. This is Wyatt. Check him out, Bucky. He's watching the game streamed online in Hawaii. That, that is awesome. And I like that one right there. It looks like he's he's, he's, he's locked in, into it. He is he is locked in there. Future Sun Devil right there. And there you Oh. And there hold on. Hey. Hey Don. I just finished actually just finishing up uh we're doing that this edition of Skip Scoop um that we, that we did. We got your first pitch on oh yep. No, no, no! I have to, I have to keep them. That was one of the conditions when I got hired. What happened? Uh, yeah. Well, I, I, I have to keep them. I'm sorry about the water. I'm sorry about your shoes, and I'll make sure that doesn't happen again. All right. Appreciate you coming over. Hopefully, we'll. You're not. Okay. All right. I well, hope you had a good time anyway. All right, see you, Don. Bye. What? <laughs> you want to tell me? No, I mean, I don't know. It just kind of escalated. And... It's Don Diamond, soap opera star. I know. Sexiest man alive. I've heard. 50 most beautiful people. He told me. <laughs> and you treat him like that. <laughs> well, thank you for that. He's not coming over again. Well, anyway, uh, are we still rolling, Casey? There you have it, folks. Uh, this edition of Skip Scoop. And uh, we'll be back next week with or without Bucky. See you next week. <laughs>